Clint Eastwood is a name that needs no introduction in the world of cinema. As an actor, director, producer, and composer, he has been a fixture in Hollywood for over six decades. With a career spanning more than 50 years, Eastwood has become one of the most recognizable and respected figures in the film industry. Chapter 1. Early Life and Career Clint Eastwood was born on May 31, 1930, in San Francisco, California. His parents, Clinton Eastwood Sr. and Ruth Wood, were both hardworking and ambitious people. Clinton Sr. worked as a steelworker and later as a salesman, while Ruth was a factory worker and homemaker. Despite their modest means, they provided a stable and loving home for their son. Growing up, Eastwood was a shy and reserved child. He struggled in school and was often bullied by other students. However, he found solace in music, particularly the piano. He took lessons and showed promise as a musician. But eventually, his interests turned to acting. In 1951, Eastwood was drafted into the United States Army during the Korean War. He served as a lifeguard and swimming instructor, and he was eventually stationed in California, where he started taking acting classes at the Fort Ord Army Base. After his discharge in 1953, he decided to pursue acting full-time. Eastwood's early acting career was marked by small roles in films and TV shows. He appeared in uncredited roles in movies such as Revenge of the Creature and Tarantula, and he landed his first speaking role in the 1955 film Francis in the Navy. However, it wasn't until he was cast as Rowdy Yates in the TV series Rawhide in 1959 that he gained widespread recognition. Rawhide was a popular Western series that ran for eight seasons and helped launch Eastwood's career as a leading man. His portrayal of Rowdy Yates, a young and impulsive cowhand, earned him critical acclaim and a legion of fans. He quickly became known for his rugged good looks, laconic demeanor, and intense stare. Eastwood's success on Rawhide led to his first starring role in a feature film. In 1964, he starred in A Fistful of Dollars, the first film in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy of spaghetti westerns. The film was a critical and commercial success, and it cemented Eastwood's status as an international movie star. In the following years, Eastwood starred in a string of westerns, including For a Few Dollars More and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which further established his reputation as a tough and uncompromising hero. He also branched out into other genres appearing in films such as Hang M. High and Paint Your Wagon. By the end of the 1960s, Eastwood was one of the most popular and influential actors in Hollywood. He had established himself as a bankable star and a master of the Western genre. However, he was also looking to expand his horizons and take on new challenges, both as an actor and a filmmaker. In the next chapter, we will explore Eastwood's transition to directing and his emergence as one of the most respected and accomplished filmmakers in Hollywood history. Chapter 2. Directorial Debut and Early Films In the early 1970s, Clint Eastwood decided to take on a new challenge, directing. His first film as a director was Play Misty for Me, a psychological thriller released in 1971. The film starred Eastwood as a radio disc jockey who becomes the target of a deranged fan. Play Misty for Me was a critical and commercial success, and it marked the beginning of Eastwood's career as a director. In the years that followed, Eastwood directed a series of films that showcased his range as a filmmaker. In 1973, he directed High Plains Drifter, a western that he also starred in. The film was a critical and commercial success and demonstrated Eastwood's willingness to take risks as a director. In 1975, Eastwood directed The Eiger Sanction, an action thriller that he also starred in. The film was not as well received as his previous efforts, but it demonstrated Eastwood's growing confidence and skill as a filmmaker. In 1976, Eastwood directed and starred in The Outlaw Jose Wales, a western that is widely regarded as one of his best films. The movie tells the story of a Missouri farmer who joins a group of Confederate guerrillas after his family is murdered by Union soldiers. The film was a critical and commercial success, and it cemented Eastwood's reputation as a master of the Western genre. In 1977, Eastwood directed and starred in The Gauntlet, an action thriller that he also produced. The film was a box office success, but it received mixed reviews from critics. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, 
Eastwood continued to direct and star in a series of films that reflected his eclectic tastes and his desire to take on new challenges. In 1980, he directed Bronco Billy, a comedy drama that he also starred in. The film was a commercial disappointment, but received positive reviews. In 1982, Eastwood directed Firefox, a Cold War-era thriller that he also starred in. The film was a box office success, but received mixed reviews. In 1983, Eastwood directed Sudden Impact, the fourth film in the Dirty Harry series. The movie was a box office success and introduced the famous catchphrase, Go ahead, make my day. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Eastwood's work as a director reflected his commitment to artistic integrity and his willingness to take risks. He demonstrated a keen eye for detail and an ability to tell powerful and compelling stories. In the next chapter, we will explore Eastwood's emergence as a true master of filmmaking, with a series of films that cemented his reputation as one of the most respected and accomplished directors in Hollywood history. Chapter 3. Critical Acclaim and Oscars By the late 1980s, Clint Eastwood had established himself as a master of filmmaking, with a string of critical and commercial successes under his belt. In the early 1990s, he directed a series of films that garnered critical acclaim and earned him numerous Academy Award nominations. In 1992, Eastwood directed Unforgiven, a revisionist western that he also starred in. The film was a critical and commercial success, winning four Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for Eastwood. Unforgiven was widely praised for its nuanced portrayal of violence and its exploration of the moral complexities of the Western genre. In 1995, Eastwood directed The Bridges of Madison County, a romantic drama based on the best-selling novel by Robert James Waller. The film starred Eastwood and Meryl Streep as two strangers who fall in love over the course of a weekend. The Bridges of Madison County was a box office success and earned Eastwood another Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In 1997, Eastwood directed Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, a crime drama based on the best-selling book by John Barron. The film starred Kevin Spacey and John Cusack and was set in Savannah, Georgia. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil received mixed reviews but was praised for its atmospheric setting and strong performances. In 1999, Eastwood directed True Crime, a crime drama based on the novel by Andrew Clavin. The film starred Eastwood as a veteran reporter who is tasked with investigating a death row inmate's case just hours before his execution. True Crime received mixed reviews, but was praised for Eastwood's performance and its suspenseful plot. In 2003, Eastwood directed Mystic River, a crime drama based on the novel by Dennis Lehan. The film starred Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, and Kevin Bacon, and explored the effects of childhood trauma on adult relationships. Mystic River was a critical and commercial success earning six Academy Award nominations and winning two, including Best Actor for Sean Penn. In 2004, Eastwood directed Million Dollar Baby, a sports drama that he also starred in. The film starred Hilary Swank as a boxer who is trained by Eastwood's character, a grizzled boxing coach. Million Dollar Baby was a critical and commercial success, earning Eastwood four Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Eastwood's work as a director continued to evolve and impress, earning him numerous accolades and cementing his reputation as one of the most respected and accomplished filmmakers in Hollywood. In the next chapter, we will explore Eastwood's later career and his continued dedication to storytelling and artistic integrity. Chapter 4. Later Career and Legacy Despite being in his 70s and 80s, Clint Eastwood continued to work prolifically in the film industry. He directed and starred in several critically acclaimed films and remained an influential figure in Hollywood. In this chapter, we will explore Eastwood's later career and his enduring legacy. In 2006, Eastwood directed Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima, two films that depicted the Battle of Iwo Jima from both the American and Japanese perspectives. The films received critical acclaim and earned Eastwood another Academy Award nomination for Best Director. In 2008, Eastwood directed Gran Torino, a drama in which he also starred as a cantankerous Korean War veteran who becomes involved with his Hmong neighbors. The film was a commercial success and received mostly positive reviews. In 2011, Eastwood directed J. Edgar, a biopic of J. Edgar Hoover, the controversial director of the FBI. 
The film starred Leonardo DiCaprio as Hoover and received mixed reviews. In 2014, Eastwood directed American Sniper, a biographical war drama based on the life of Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle. The film starred Bradley Cooper as Kyle and was a box office success, earning over $500 million worldwide. However, the film also sparked controversy over its portrayal of the Iraq War and Kyle's actions as a sniper. In 2016, Eastwood directed Sully, a biographical drama about Captain Chesley, Sully Sullenberger, who successfully landed a damaged plane on the Hudson River in 2009. The film starred Tom Hanks as Sullenberger and was well received by critics and audiences. In addition to his work as a filmmaker, Eastwood also remained active in politics and philanthropy. He served as the mayor of Carmel by the Sea, California, from 1986 to 1988 and has been a vocal supporter of the Republican Party. He also established the Eastwood Ranch Foundation, which focuses on animal welfare and rescue. Throughout his career, Clint Eastwood has been lauded for his contributions to American cinema and his iconic performances on screen. He has received numerous awards and honors, including the Cecil B. DeMille Award and the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. His influence can be seen in the work of countless filmmakers and actors who have been inspired by his artistry and dedication to storytelling. In conclusion, Clint Eastwood's life and career have been marked by an unwavering commitment to excellence and a dedication to his craft. As he continues to work in the film industry, his legacy as one of the greatest filmmakers of his generation is secure.